This is 58. This is 55, but I'm pretty sure the same thing. So slow. Sweet. We got a mess, but we got 18 grams out. Good job, monolith. Alright, so this is how it is. Pretty much out of the monolith. Um, the mess. Alright. We will try the spinny tool. locks on. Uh, I tried it before and I didn't do enough rotations, so, whoops, okay, how many I hold it down, so hold on, I'm gonna pause. Alright, did a bunch of rotations, a little bit in one way, mostly in the other way. Mm. Is that good? I don't know. I'm gonna gently encourage everything to stay inside the basket. Um, and I'm just gonna tamp it. Or actually, I'm gonna knock it down first, so. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. Not too bad, I wouldn't say it's like not, uh, it's more even than it was, but not 100% even. Party is going to be on my espresso shot, so uh, forgive me if my filming is shitty. So I'm going to stop it at two and a half ish bars. Uh, yeah. Alright. So, you know, I'm going to go for a longer pre infusion. Looks like it's coming out nice. This is about two. It's dropping a little, so I'm going to start the flow. This is eight bars. Hopefully, I am pointing it at the right place. Okay, I just adjusted. Oh, now it dropped down to seven, eight. Alright, back up to eight. And I'm going to drop down a little bit to 6 and stop because we're at 37 grams in 36 seconds. I don't know, yeah, I think the timer started when the uh, pre-infusion went, so uh, I guess not bad timing. I don't know. I'm raking the moon. Okay, I'm going to hold it down a little. Oops. Yep. And it looks like shit. Let's do it some more. Alright, so I did a little more turbo speed. Hmm, still doesn't look amazing. Let's uh, encourage it all to go in. Give it a tappy tap. And then we're going to do it one more time. And it's going to look better. This is doing it again, tapping it down. Yeah, it looks okay, but I think I could do better with the manual needle tool. Moon is probably gonna die mid shot, but let's see what we can do. So I want to do a little bit of pre-infusion. Oh, trying to keep it okay. It's under four bars. Whoops, it's rising. Give it a longer pre-infusion. It's still at four bars. The flow's pretty much cut off. Oh, it's dropping a little as it starts to drip. I'm gonna rise the pressure. Raise? Rise? Rise. Uh, between eight and a half, nine bars. It's dropping down to eight. Dropping pretty quickly. I'm gonna rise the flow up again to around eight. Oh, it's going a little fast. Let's go down to like six and a half. And then it's done. Oh, oh shit. We got 39? 
39 ish in 42 seconds so a little faster than before it's funny i upped the rpm same grind setting as before faster rpm on the grinder and uh flowed faster normally when you go finer i thought you normally you go finer i thought it obstructs the holes but with the paper filter you have much larger surface area so it doesn't obstruct the holes and doesn't flow uh, it doesn't stop the flow as much as with uh, without the paper filter. So that's my theory. Here are two separate pucks, um, or half pucks, from the Weber. Oh, there's a little dark spot there. I was going to say there is less of that. I don't know. That might have been from another piece of uh, coffee. But... It's pretty even for the most part. Where was that dark spot? So maybe there's a tiny bit of channeling playing in the mud. Meow. Simba.